Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Giggity, real name is Mark, and in today's video, we're going to be going over the best game of each major racing series, games, titles, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the, I know this is probably a stupidly confusing title. I probably named it something dumb, and uh, it probably sounds weird, but pretty much what I mean by that is what is the best game of each of the big game companies, you know? So, like, what's the best Forza Motorsport? What's the best Gran Turismo? What's the best need for speed game what's the best midnight club game things like that you know like what is the best of each racing game series pretty much so that's what we're going with we got a lot actually because there's a lot more racing game series than you would think um and some of them i'm not a big fan of the series itself but i put it in here anyway because i kind of had to i felt like it was cheating if i didn't put it in so let's get right into it i guess with the first one that is going to the crew series which there's only three games in the series so far but i think the best is easily the crew 2 the crew motorfest or is it motorfest yeah it's motorfest is way too just like goofy for me man it, it it is so arcadey in every single way and it lost the only thing that the crew had going for it which was the map size the map size was awesome but then they just ditched that and went with a smaller map and then i thought they were gonna go for a smaller map so that they could uh make it feel like more alive because that's a, that was a problem in their first two crews that it felt like dead it felt like there was a wasteland that you were driving through so i thought that's what they were doing but no it still feels dead in the crew motor fest and then obviously the crew one it was okay but it's just not as good as the crew two Next up is a big one, and it's Forza Horizon, which I, by the way, I'm putting Forza Horizon and Forza Motorsport separate because I think they're I think they're two separate games technically. Uh, either way, Forza Horizon, in my opinion, is the fourth one is the best one. Horizon 3 and Horizon 5 are both relatively close, so I will say, dude, I get the nostalgia is probably giving you guys the stiffiest of boners right now. I get that. But actually go back and play Horizon 1 or 2, and dude, it does feel outdated. It does feel like there's not that much content. It It, it is a little bit lackluster when you compare it to Horizon 4 or 3. I will say 5 is also kind of bad, though. I, I don't know. I mean, 5 isn't bad. It's just not... I feel like I'm burnt out on 5. I feel like that's the problem with it. And it's also, uh, 5 is uh, kind of has the crew sim syndrome, where it's like it doesn't feel lived in. Um, Horizon 4, though, is gorgeous. The Seasons thing I liked. I know everybody else didn't like the Seasons. I freaking loved the Seasons idea. That was so cool. The map was awesome. There's so much to explore. It felt alive. It felt there, like there was a lot of nature around you. That's the thing with crew uh, or Horizon 5, too, is that there's not that much many like trees or anything like that. It's all like wide open spaces all the time. Um, but Horizon 4 really nailed it, I think. Forza Motorsport. Forza Motorsport is obviously one of the biggest com biggest companies out there for racing games. So this is a big one. And I went with Forza Motorsport 7. Hear me out. I know people are going to be like, dude, the second motorsport is the best. Or the third motorsport. They're going to like the older motorsports. I get that. But as somebody who never played the older motorsports as a kid, I didn't have nostalgia going into playing them. So I did play them. I actually played two literally like last night. I was literally playing Forza Motorsport 2 last night. Um, but I went back and played them now as like an adult. It doesn't do it the same way Motorsport 7 does. Motorsport 7 nails one thing and one thing really, really well, and that is multiplayer. The online multiplayer of Forza Motorsport 7 is still strong to this day, and it's still fun to this day. It's a freaking blast to play some Forza Motorsport 7 multiplayer. Need for Speed. Probably, we're getting all the big ones out of the way right, 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 right now, by the way, but Need for Speed is probably the most well-known racing game company out there period i would say they easily are and in my opinion the best is obviously most wanted 2005 carbon is close underground one is close honestly hot pursuit 2 is very close in my opinion too i really like hot pursuit 2 need for speed heat and unbound are both decent i hate unbound stupid like anime stuff going on though i freaking think that's so goofy but most wanted 2005 is just better in every single way the police the customization the way the career or story mode whatever you want to call it works is absolutely perfection it's simple but it works so freaking well blacklists that's so good it's such a good easily the best nearest b game one of the best racing games of all time and i think this is probably the last of like the really big series gran turismo gran turismo is obviously stupidly popular and in my opinion the gran turismo 4 is the best gran turismo 4 man is just smack dabble on my smack sphincter okay smack dabble pop rice krispies grand turismo 4 is absolutely goaded there is 
I don't think there will ever be another racing game that will beat Gran Turismo 4. It is to this day and will always be my favorite racing game of all time. Gran Turismo 4 is absolutely perfect. License tests are so much fun and there's so many of them. The career mode is stupidly long. It's like the Skyrim of racing games, man. You can like truly never 100% complete Gran Turismo 4. There's so many events to do. The endurance races are actual endurance races. They're not just 24 minutes. It's 24 hours. Like you got to actually lock in and do these freaking races. And it's difficult, but it has such a large car list it's so good man so freaking good is the graphics outdated yeah at this point it is a little bit but who cares it's such a good game next up is hot wheels hot wheels has a lot of racing games or i don't know if you call them racing games or not but hot wheels velocity is my favorite of them i've played a lot of hot wheels games i beat i played hot wheels beat that hot wheels stunt track challenge i beat hot wheels world race the new the unleashed one and then also the unleashed two um, I've played a lot of Hot Wheels games. I, mean, I feel like I'm even forgetting one or two right now, actually, trying to think of them. But either way, Hot Wheels Velocity is my favorite. Hot Wheels Velocity is a racing game, but also has a battle like area, and like you can you can like do like this like these big arenas, and then you can pick up weapons on your car. And I've always said this to my brother. My brother agrees because we used to play the battle arenas together and stuff like that. I've always said to my brother, I was like, listen, imagine if a video game company made something like this on a, obviously a much larger scale though, and then turn it into a battle royale, like car battling would be so freaking cool. Hot Wheels should do that. They have the funds. They have the car lists. They have so many freaking Hot Wheels cars that they could put into their game. And they obviously already made a battle mode with velocity. So just make it on a bigger scale and release it as a battle royale. And it'll be stupidly, stupidly fun. Midnight Club is a massive one for car guys obviously most people don't know what midnight club is unless you are a racing game enthusiast but midnight club 3 is easily the best in the freaking series without a doubt midnight club 1 and midnight club 2 sorry nostalgia kids but they suck i i, I went back and played midnight club 1 a week or two ago with my little brother we tried it no it's not fun midnight club 1 is not fun at all midnight club 2 is okay but not even close to midnight club 3 midnight club 3 nailed it dub edition remix is the one i have so i never played like the regular midnight club 3 but dub edition remix man oh my god it's so much freaking fun me and my brother used to sit downstairs playing on our freaking playstation 2 one controller in my hand one controller in his hand in his hand literally just driving our cars around this open world map for hours it is such a fun game the customization is awesome the story is pretty good uh the way you the progression in the story though is really really good that's the problem with LA. Like, LA is good, but the progression feels so slow in Midnight Club LA. It just makes me, like, not want to play it. Like, it feels like a, it's such a slow, long game that you got to get into. Midnight Club 3 is perfect. Also, Midnight Club LA isn't even at midnight most of the time. It's in the daytime. I, I don't get that. We're, we're, it's, it's Midnight Club. It's supposed to be at nighttime. But Midnight Club LA is, like, in the daytime. The entire, in the, the entire freaking game. Really weird. But... Easily the biggest racing game company out there, without a freaking doubt in my mind, is Mario Kart. Because <laughs> Mario Kart is played by everybody. Whether you're a racing game enthusiast or just a person that wants to play a game with their family real quick, Mario Kart is obviously there for you. In my opinion, the best one is Double Dash. I will admit, I haven't played every Mario Kart out there, obviously. I don't play Mario Kart that often either. I'm not a Mario Kart kind of guy. But Double Dash is a blast, and I still play it with my siblings sometimes when I go up to visit my sister, because she lives like up two hours away from me. So whenever we go up there, we'll go up there for like a weekend. We'll visit her, and she whips out the old Nintendo GameCube, and we play some freaking Mario Kart Double Dash, and it's so much freaking fun i have so many funny memories with my family and with my siblings it has a special place in my heart for sure i don't care if mario kart double dash isn't actually the best in the series to true mario kart enthusiasts to me it is i freaking love it it's a great game i i don't really like most of the other mario karts so that's saying something formula one is another really large one to be honest um and i'm just gonna go with f1 2024 because i've never once in my life played a formula one game i'm i'm sorry i have not i'm not a formula one kind of guy uh, I'm a NASCAR, I'm, I'm, I'm American, so I like some NASCAR stuff, um, but overall, yeah, I'm not the, I'm not the biggest, uh, fan of, uh, F1, so I'm sorry. Speaking of NASCAR, let's talk about NASCAR. They have a lot of, uh, games in the series, and most people don't play them, most people don't care about them, um, but I'm gonna choose this one anyway, because NASCAR 06, Total Team Control, was a lot of fun. Uh, I, I'm, again, I'm, uh, when it comes to, like, NASCAR, Formula One, and stuff like that, like, super, super realistic racing, I, I don't really get into it that, that much. Like, the most realistic simulation style of racing I enjoy is Gran Turismo, but NASCAR 06, me and my brother used to do this thing where we'd play on Martinsville, if you know NASCAR, you know what Martinsville is, we put in the cheat codes, which would give you, like, a stupid, there was a stupid amount of cars in this freaking game, by the way, so you get a lot of cars, we'd go on Martinsville, you could get a UPS truck, so my brother would get in the UPS truck, we'd go on practice mode, which all the cars would come out during practice mode, and then my brother would turn around, I would actually race, 
and then he would turn around we'd have cautions turned off and he would just slam into every car driving by and i would try and like survive and it was actually so much fun i don't understand why you had to be there you had to be there but besides that i'm not really i don't really play many nascar games so this is the only one that made the list dirt dirt is a dirty boy and needs to take a shower i actually need to take a shower too it's freaking 10 o'clock already man jesus but dirt rally 2.0 is my favorite of the dirt series i have played almost every dirt game and i still think dirt rally 2.0 is my favorite it is so freaking fun it's unbelievable there is a close second and that's dirt showdown if you haven't played dirt showdown man go give it a shot god that game is fun but dirt rally 2.0 is a mwah, mwah. all the regular dirt titles like dirt 1 dirt 2 dirt 3 dirt 4 dirt 5 they're honestly not that enjoyable for me but the dirt rally ones they're so realistic and so like so like beautiful too and it's so hard to master and it's so much fun it's like when you when you do master by the way if you're gonna play dirt rally 2.0 make sure you do it in first person that's the only way you can you can do uh dirt dirt rally 2.0 the flat out series is one that i feel like everybody doesn't really understand because they feel like they thought it fell off but it's actually still here because the best one in the series is wreckfest yeah, they're not so wreckfest kind of is interesting it's technically not a part of the flat out series it's just made by the same company that made flat out but it's almost like some, saying something like uh elden ring isn't a part of the dark souls series or something like that like yes it is but even though it's technically not it's the same thing here with wreckfest yes it doesn't have the word flat out in it but it's the same company it's the same premise as flat out games and it is so much fun i as a kid who used to play uh flat out games all the freaking time like trust me i used to play them all the time wreckfest is better i'm sorry your nostalgia is probably getting the best of you wreckfest truly is unbelievably good the physics are much better the racing is much more much much more freaking like in, impressive and like there's 24 cars in wreckfest whereas in flat out there was four maximum four cars maximum the de the demolition is so much better the online is fun in wreckfest there's a ton of cars to choose from you can customize your cars there's really fun tracks too like crazy over the top tracks that just work so well in a game like this it is it is the best in the series project gotham racing a company a game company that is sadly fallen off nobody talks about them anymore but i feel like they should they're so freaking good at making games man and my personal favorite is project gotham racing 4 the most recent one project gotham racing did something that no other like i, I want to say sim but project gotham racing wasn't a simulator it was an arcade game so something that no other simulation t type of game sim simcade simcade is the best way to put it did and that is include motorcycles in the racing and oh my god that is something that stuck with me to this day like i still think about motorcycles in project gotham yes there's motorcycles in like midnight club yes there's motorcycles in like uh i don't know something else but not not to this extent man it's so so fun project cars is a new kid on the block man new kid on the block and they they have some decent games out there uh the first one had my favorite by the way is project cars 2 i think the third one is just a really big disappointment to be honest the first one is there's no progression in the first one it feels really boring because you start with everything pretty much project cars 2 did a good mixture of both of them i still don't think project cars 2 is a great game i still think project cars has a lot more room to improve but i think they're on the right path i think they just need to they need to chalk everything about project cars 3 and go back to the drawing board with project cars 2 when they make the fourth one and i think we should we should be off to a good start because they're they're, they're decent they're decent to say the least grand theft auto the reason why i started this channel obviously a super super big game company I don't know if you classify them as a racing game, but I do. It's literally auto is in the name. And let's be honest, most of the reason why people are still playing GTA in 2024 is because of the cars, okay? And GTA 5 is, yes, my favorite. Uh, I mean, come on, man. I know you're going to be like, what about San Andreas? What about 4? What about Vice City? Dude, realistic. Let, let's be honest here. Would you rather, like, are you going to actually sit there and spend the amount of time you spent playing GTA 5 on San Andreas? Probably not, man. Like, realistically, you're probably not going to do that i mean gta 5 just has so much more content so much more stuff to do so many more cars so many better racing and better online modes and stuff like that it's just a better game i'm sorry i know people like to like the older stuff but gta 5 is truly just the best of the series so far the driver games these guys were huge back in the day and then they were like you know what let's stop making games even though it makes no sense because we were doing pretty good driver san francisco is unbelievable un un unfreaking believable there's not even a close competition with the driver games and driver made some good games don't get me wrong driver 2 dude i used to play driver 2 all the time on the playstation 1 that thing was fun but driver san francisco oh my lord oh my lord is it a 
unbelievably fun game the what they decided to do with driver san francisco is literally like nothing we've ever seen before in the gt in the uh gta uh, in the racing game series and that is the whole obviously like eagle eye thing where you can shift into other people's cars and drive them for them it's freaking awesome and then the car list is actually surprisingly long like larger than you would remember probably like there's actually a lot like like did you know they have the ford rs 200 in this game or the audi s1 quattro in this game like there are some unique cars in, in driver san francisco and it's absolutely cool Motorstorm, I'm starting to run out of freaking mouth here, man. My mouth is starting to get dry. So I'm going to have to try and speed run these. But Motorstorm. Motorstorm is another one that fell off. And it's so sad because they're so good. They were so much fun. The best one, though, is the first one. Motorstorm number one. Oh, my God, man. It's so much fun. The Motorstorm Apocalypse or whatever it's called. And the Motorstorm, like, Arctic Edge. I don't remember what the, the other ones are called, to be honest. But the other ones that they had. I do like them. I still think they are good games. I think everybody should give them a shot. But I feel like they didn't really even, like, change much from the first one. Except for they started, like, going way over the top of the tracks. It kind of feels like split second with their racetracks now, like, in the newer ones. And I honestly didn't like that. I kind of liked the regular racing. Not regular, because it's still, like, crazy over the top in the first one. But, like, normal tracks. And they didn't add, like, any special cars or anything that, into these new ones. So it's really not, in my opinion, much of an improvement. And honestly, I'd rather just play the first one. I think Motorstorm 1 is really, really fun. Car X. Car X is... I don't know if people would call this a actual, um like series yet because it's technically just a company but they have car x street car x drift racing and car x drift racing three or two and i think they even have another uh, car x game out there but um, my favorite is car x drift racing uh, it's the only one i really play actually i've played car x street and i've played drift racing two but the the first one is fun i don't like to play like mobile games so i only play things on my uh on my like xbox and you can get the first one on your xbox so that's the reason why i play it um and it's it's just a lot of fun as somebody who loves drifting and loves like jdm cars and stance stuff and stuff like that it is a freaking perfect game for me it is so much fun i i I didn't give it a shot for the longest time because I thought it was like just some crappy mobile game that was not going to be fun. And the sec I remember this literally the day I started playing Car Extra Racing, I stayed up for like five hours past my bedtime just sitting there playing it over and over and over again because of how much fun I had. Like it was, it, it really is a good game. Go give it a shot if you haven't. And finally, the last series I could think of off the top of my head uh, without like looking them all up or whatever is Assetto Corsa. And Assetto Corsa Competizione is the better one. I'm pretty sure there's only two Assetto Corsas. Um, I've only played two, so I hope I sure hope there are only two. But yeah, Competizione is better. Uh, it, they did obviously drop the whole, like, okay, so it obviously depends a lot on the type of person you are or what you're looking for. I am the type of person where I do like stock cars and I do like having a large car list and driving like that. So you may be thinking, then why did you pick Competizione when obviously uh, the first one is is better for you in that scenario because if i'm going to play a game like that i'm just going to play gran turismo assetto corsa is obviously so much more sim than gran turismo is and so when i play assetto corsa i'm playing it to be in race cars so it makes more sense for me to play the competizione one in the G with the gt3 cars and stuff like that and it, ju it just fits better for what assetto corsa is obviously assetto corsa the first one is overall i would say the better one for everybody else especially since modders can mod it like crazy on freaking pc if you are if you're on pc yeah, you're definitely going to want to buy the first one over Competizione, but in my opinion, ACC is the one that I enjoy more than the first one. But ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of today's video of the best game of each of the major racing series. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. Let me know what other videos you'd like to see in the comment section down below. And uh, let me know what other series I forgot. I'm already starting to think of some, and it's going to drive me freaking nuts that I didn't include it in the video. So I'll do it right now. Asphalt, the Asphalt series. Um, I don't play those at all. I played them a little bit on my phone when I was like 15, 14 years old or something like that. But I don't play them at all anymore, so I'm just going to go with Asphalt 8 because I remember playing that one. So there we go. Real Racing is another mobile game. Um, I only played the third one. So there you go. CSR Racing is another mobile game. And I, I guess I'll go with CSR Racing 2. Uh, I don't play mobile games that much. This is the reason why I didn't really think of them until just now to put into the video. Because I don't play mobile games. It's just not my style. I just I don't really have a want to do that but let me know what other racing games you think i missed if i did miss any like racing game series and i'll tell you which is my favorite of that series thank you guys so much for watching das and have a nice night